Hello, all you wonderful people. Surreal Canine here with more Disgaea 4, a promise revisited. The last set of character demos we did were uh, 10 of the uh, 10 of the monsters in the base game. In this episode, we are going to do the other nine monster classes. Let's begin. First up, we have the Gargoyle. Gargoyles in Disgaea are traditionally a very uh, defensive unit, as you can see from his uh, defense stat there. They magic change to axes. As you can see, uh, he's got pretty good aptitudes all around, both offensive and defensive. His HP could be a little higher, but that's not uh, entirely what the Gargoyle's about. They're not entirely about just having massive boatloads of HP. We got a monster for that later. <coughs> I noticed that our gargoyle could learn five abilities, and one of them is shared with the uh, android. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but uh, yeah. As for the abilities unique to them, Stone Statue increases their defense by 10% every turn of not moving. You might be aware of the uh, combo bonus, where if you attack over and over without moving, your damage goes up. This, uh, this can help that. Stone Guard raises their stats when they are closer to the base panel. I'll have to check that out. Stone Piece increases their stats by the number of times thrown uh, within a turn. 10% increase every time. Stone Wall reduces their move by 2, but increases their defense and res by 30%. So, uh, if you just need them to, uh... Just need him to guard a choke point. This is the monster for you. Let's take him to the battlefield and see what's up. When they are on top of the base panel, their stats are doubled, apparently. 90%, 80%, and so on. So, okay. That's cool. Flying Pre, the final resort to get your son out of bed. I think my mother could relate. I have a tendency to sleep at night. At least on the weekends. I mean, you know, sometimes she would put the cat on top of me, and that would wake me up. Burn down. It's a it's E level fire type. Okay. Here I go. Shocking shock. You know what happens to wet masked heroes when they get struck by lightning? Same thing that happens to everyone else. I might have done that line already, I don't know. Plasma Lawrence. Oh no, it's a money railgun. Is that a coil? You know, whatever, it's... Uses magnetism to make something go really fast. That's what's important here. Alright, that was pretty cool. Let's uh, finish this other guy off. You'll get over here. Yeah, there we go. And show off his magic change. Here I go. Go to Hades. Here I go. This is what our gargoyle axe looks like. Pretty self-explanatory. 
Trance Axe, a magical move that turns an axe into an ice pick. That's definitely something. That's pretty cool. Graviton Hammer. Welcome to a world of two dimensions. I, I, I didn't do very much flattening or uh, Alvatoras. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh look, it's a kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Okay, next up, it's everybody's favorite puppy. The Kusith. Write about it in your blag. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing? A magic change to fists, and their attacks become sharper with speed, but only if they're elemental. So, uh, looking around for stuff. Anyway, yeah, you can see their attack and speed aptitudes are pretty high up there. Their abilities include Excel Element, which boosts their elemental attacks when they move around a lot. Excel Blow, which increases their crit damage by the panel's move by 10%, times 10%. So, if you got your, uh, if you got your gunner or your professionals or whatever and you want to do a lot more crit damage, get this guy involved. There's no way you can go wrong. Wind's Blessing, increase wind attack damage by 30%. And Mock Strike. Add a bit of your base speed to attack when a monster weapon is equipped. Pretty cool. Let's take him to the battlefield. You get over here. Charging horns. He thinks he's just playing. Yep, I've gotten scratched up by a couple of dogs in my time who just wanted to play, you know. It's a thing that can happen. <laughs> Phantom Murderer. Ooh, sounds spooky. Maximum Puppy Ambush. Petting Zoo! Yay, puppies! <laughs> he just summons all the puppies. That's adorable. Finally, Moonlight Raid. It's Wind Element. Two of these are Wind Element. Summon the entire pack. Danger Puppy. All right, let's not use a uh, Valator's the Magic Chain. Let's bring out Fenric. He hasn't had a chance to party. This is good job. Okay, Lunatic Garn. Wind Element. <laughs> Wow, that is a dangerous looking fist weapon. Wow, 
Wolf Children. Now accepting ideas for cute names. For my wolf. I think these blow skills uh, indicate they uh, knock back the enemy. Yeah, it just causes a lot of knockback. That's pretty cool. Our next monster of the day is the Succubus. Beautiful lady demon that seduces men, plays with their heart to weaken them. They magic change to swords. Uh, they also learn six tiers of fire spells and Espoir, Slumber, and Charm. Charm inflicts Deprave. You can uh, see their uh, aptitudes are, again, very well rounded besides their HP, which is absurdly low. Uh, here are their abilities Sexy Aura. Debuffs adjacent male enemies by 20%. So, uh, not quite as good as Stella's uh, ability, but it's something. Temptation adds 50% chance of Deprave to your normal attack. Dream Hunt doubles damage to sleeping targets. And Pretty Motion has the damage taken from male units. Let's see how she does on the battlefield. Here's your punishment. Wise words from the human world. Bullying is not cool. Okay. There's our mail. Pink Illusion. This is unacceptable. Alright, if you say so, Anyas. <laughs> it was a distraction. Raging, what the heck is Dromi? Very, uh, very zigzaggy chain attack there. Twin Attribute. Can be rotated like magic. <laughs> Fire and ice bomb, or something. Yeah. So yeah, let's magic change her and see what else she's capable of. Here's your punishment. And then forget this ever happened. Whoops. Let me show you. <laughs> Actually, I could definitely believe uh, Valatores would uh, have some of these guys in his party. I mean, Dracula does. <laughs> Delusions. In based. <laughs> How ironic for a vampire to use a nosebleed attack. Ironic that your demise would be in the very vicinity of some horses. <laughs> Judgment Sword.
Isaac summons judgment. It's uh, it's super effective. <laughs> Wrong RPG, but I do not care. So yeah, those two. Uh, oh yeah, Gargoyle and Kusif, both from the 30, 70, 140, 280, 560 spear. Succubus and Nekomata are 35, 80, 163, 20, 640, which, by the way, it's time to bring out another familiar face. I picked Mercury here, our Nekomata, for uh, some massive Tower of Ordeals, or Tower... Mount Ordeal's grinding, and her stats definitely show. A magic change to Fist, which means if you giant magic change a Nekomata with anybody, they can use a giant Big Bang. Which uh, takes out everybody on Ordeal's 4 in one attack. It's pretty cool. But yeah, Nekomata, always remember to counterattack. Even against special skills, which is pretty cool. Cross counter increases damage when countering an attack from the front. Ambush increases attack by 20% times the number of turns out of the base panel. And team formation doubles the damage when joining a team attack. Pretty cool all around. I mainly used her for her uh, magic change properties though. Let's bring her into the battlefield. Because Mercury is the best kitty. Ready for meow? First up, Feline Gust. That is a pretty sweet combo there. And yeah, you are uh, kind of uh, counter killing all my dudes here. Kitty Brain Blast. Apparently, it inflicts knockback. Ready for oh yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a little bit of knockback. I should mention that these knockback attacks are a little different from the uh, fist skills that move the target to a fist fixed place. Skill learned before they get married. I guess these kitties are all about their martial arts. Which explains why Rutil uh, knows the attacks she does. <laughs> Boxer Kitty! Inflicts Paralyze and it is the strongest monster skill. I didn't quite get what that said. Uh, Nyanko something. <laughs> That's all I could tell. Alright, we are going to have to uh, finish this map and then show off her magic change. Alright, Mercury and Valatorez, once again, both of your time to shine. That was good! Kitty power. First up, flaming kitty shot. Something, something Inazuma Eleven. I don't know. Grand Slam, become the Princess of Tennis. Go to yeah. 
<laughs> that was something. It was definitely a something. Alright. Next up, we got two monsters from the 40, 90, 183, 60, 720 speed tier. And one of them should seem a little bit familiar since we already demoed Hugo. It is time for death. take away mental health upon attacks. They magic change to bows, and they learn six tiers of ice spells. Very much a magic-oriented monster here. Mind Killer inflict 50% of damage to SP during an attack. So uh, yeah, they do SP damage as well as HP. Dismal Omen cuts in half the magic attack, magic effects of en the healing effects of enemies on the map. Mind Shackle doubles the SP consumption of enemies. And... Magic Force adds a bit of your current SP to Int if a monster weapon is equipped. Now I kind of want to see what Hugo can do. Is Hugo with us? He is not. Alright, whatever. Actually, yeah, Hugo's a monster type, so uh, that doesn't actually matter. This spouting nonsense again. Go to hell. First up. We've actually seen all of these, but no reason not to see them again, I guess. <laughs> Show off his magic chain skills. I forget whether or not they are different from Hugo's. Matter of fact, I don't even really remember what Hugo's magic chain skills were. Here I go. Oh well. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've seen these before. Let me show you. Torres. All right, let's get rid of these guys and move on to the next monster. You didn't counter, kitty. Why didn't you counter? K 
Okay. Next up. We have the, uh... We have the Bone Dragon. Bone Dragons are absolute physical walls. The fossil body is hard to penetrate. Magic change to spears, and they also learn the shield spell, which increases defense. Immortal body has the damage from all physical attacks, and as you can see, uh, their defense aptitude, their, both their defense stat and their defense aptitude is through the roof. As for their other abilities, blood insanity uh, increases damage when target HP is under 50%. Death Fang doubles damage to paralyzed targets. Vendetta has a 10% chance to death blow on a counterattack. All some pretty nice skills, I guess. I mean, maybe you're going for one of these uh, status parties. I don't know, it's this guy. You can do anything you want. Smelly breath. Apparently, skulls just precipitate out of his breath for no particular reason. Longhorn Fang. <laughs> he was stuck. That's that's always a funny guy. <laughs> Undead strike. B level. <laughs> Owns a bunch of skeletons. Vampire skeletons, anyway. Because the game could not be bothered to render a sprite for the for the human skeletons. Can't win them all, I guess. Darkness breath inflicts depraved. Check out his magic change skills. Again, Bone Dragon's magic change to spears. So uh, let's see what's up. Let me show you. Living fossil. Let me show you. Power of geology, I guess. I don't know. Geology and paleontology alike. Corpse costume. A top seller in the netherworld fashion industry. <laughs> Bone armor. Okay, that's the Bone Dragon. Ready for 
Oh yeah, I gotta check something real quick. Yeah, you can see Succubi have an absurdly high uh, basic attack range. So do these guys, but we are not dealing with these guys yet. Next up, three monsters from the 45, 100, 200, 400, 800 tier. We have the Wood Golem, which are absolute HP monstrosities. HP and attack alike, apparently. Born with a self-regenerative power, so they can take a couple hits and just keep going. Photosynthesis recovers 10% of their HP every turn. Activation increases stats by 20% when they're at max HP. Anger of Earth increases dent, uh, recovers HP when they deal a normal attack. Fresh Green Sprout causes them to fully recover when they level up. This, uh, this can definitely, uh, help out with these max HP or max SP abilities that we've been seeing. Of course, you're going to need the character world to get them onto any of the unique characters. And a bit of reincarnation shenanigans to get them onto uh, any other generics. Anyway. I'll stop you. Skull Crush. Gonna get a lot of points there in the Hall of Meat. <laughs> Angered Tree. Oh, that was a pretty simple looking attack. Wrong monster. I'll stop you. Hugs tonight. It's a crush hug. I'll stop you. I'll stop you. <laughs> Followed by a pile driver. That's gonna hurt. Big splash. Oh no, it's Kirby. <laughs> So yeah, that was something. Let's check out his magic change skills. I'll stop you. Go to Hades. <laughs> First up, Brain Shaker. Nature Slash. This is the proper way to split a log. You just start with the whole tree, apparently. <laughs> Val's a lumberjack and he's okay. Yeah. Bang. Uh, 
Alright, our next monster is the dragon. Not the bone dragon, just the regular old dragon. They increase their power by receiving attacks and the magic change to swords. As you can see, uh, they've got pretty good uh, physical aptitudes there, along with high HP. Rising Dragon increases their attack by 10% every time they receive an attack in one turn. Fire's Blessing raises fire attack damage by 30%. Dragon's Treasure increases aptitude by 20 when, in, when a treasure is equipped. That means emblems. You know, stuff like the uh, Arcadia, the Royal Ring, uh, Imperial Emblem, stuff like that. King's Dignity increases damage against bosses. So yeah, uh, pretty good all around, really. And you might actually want that secondary ability on a, on a unit that you plan to use in Endgame. I mean, you're gonna have those uh, Triforces equipped all the time. <laughs> might as well, you know? Let's take our dragon to the battlefield. Windbreaker. Oh dear. Old oh, Wario humor. Actually, I think Johnny Test did that once too. <laughs> but let's not talk about Johnny Test. Sure, I'm gonna lose half a zillion subscribers. I keep talking about Johnny Test. Dragon Claw! Same attack they've had for quite a while. Nothing too special there. Dragon Missile! Fire element, apparently. <laughs> it's Kilo Flare! <laughs> Not quite Mega Flare material there, Bahamut. Dragon Assassinator. Double S Fire Element. Impudent. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> they just they just breathe fire for their normal attack. That's something I guess saying you can't go wrong with fire breath. Unless your enemy resists fire, but uh, let's ignore that for a second. To go to Hades. It's magic change time and dragons magic change to swords. Flame slash. Drop it like it's hot. Build a Xenoblade 2 fire sorting there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh it up, Valatores. We're almost done here. Final Dragoon. This is way beyond mere sword skills. Let me show you! <laughs> Yeah. 
Isaac summoned catastrophe. So yeah, that was pretty neat. Our final monster for today for today is Wrong menu. The Rifle Demon, also known as a Cyber Demon. <laughs> His unwavering wa faith makes him stronger. What? Invincible Ruler increases their damage when they attack without moving. As you can see, they've got a gun type uh, area of a range of attack. Anti-Elements. Uh, increases your elemental affinities when HP is critical. Star's Blessing increases star attack damage. Heavy Stance uh, prevents you from lifting, but but their stats increase by 20%. We've seen this in a lot of the X Dimension stages. Uh, it was kind of annoying. Take him onto the battlefield and see just what he can do. Rifle demons, very obviously. Magic change to guns. Gonna just uh, kind of doom it up, you know? Ignition! Star element! Very, uh, very Zero Suit Samus there, <laughs> with the grapple beam and everything. Extinctor Laser! That's a, that's a big old barrage of mist of not missiles, lasers he got there, buddy. He kind of got a blind spot right in the middle of the ellipse, I think. Genocide Saber. It's a gun sword! Something. And these guys could not last long enough for me to show off all the specials. Cruel Shot. C type, star element. Just power it straight from your core, I guess. Boom. Alright, let's magic change and uh, finish Let this video. Reflection Beam. You don't need good aim to make this shot. Let me show you. <laughs> that reminds me of the uh, of like the bumpers they would put in the in a kitty bowling alley. Of course, if you're especially bad at bowling, you can always uh, accidentally throw your ball into the next lane over. <laughs> I did that when we were like adjacent to a tournament, and I got the lady a gutter ball. <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing. Parallel cannon. Go! Oh, well, that's something. So that is uh, all of our uh, all of our base monster units. Next video, we are going to cover. Looks like a uh, six. DLC classes. So, 
thank you all for watching. I will see you guys then. Bye-bye for now.